A doctor polishes muscle. A doctor polishes muscle, a small muscle of the hand, but it is a very important muscle. Origin, it got two heads, a transverse head which arises from the anterior radial surface of the body of the third metacarpal bone and an oblique head which arises from the basis of the second and the third metacarpals, also from the cavitate and the adjacent carpals. Insertion, the two heads converge into a tendon that inserts along with fibers from the adjacent flexor pollicis brevis into the medial side, which is the under aspect of the base of the proximal pharynx of the thumb. There is a sesamoid bone present in the tendon, so that tendon insert into the ulnar sesamoid of the thumb. It also insert into the dorsal apparatus. What is the action? The predominant action is abduction of the metacarpal of the thumb. It draws the first metacarpal laterally to oppose the thumb towards the center of the palm and rotate it medially. It also works on the IP joint, which is interpharyngeal joint, causing extension of that joint. It also works on the MCP joint and causes flexion of that joint. So the action of the adductor policy is complicated. The most important action is the first metacarpal adduction. The second important one is MCP flexion. The third one is IP extension. What is the nerve supply? The deep branch of the under nerve, CAT1. So when you lose the under nerve, you lose all the function of the adductor pollicis muscle. Let's talk about some anatomical consideration with clinical significance. The first one is the gamekeeper thumb. Tears of the ulnar collateral ligament of the thumb. In these cases, this a lesion called a sternal lesion. So what happened is the adductor pollicis aponeurosis will interpose between the torn ulnar collateral ligament and the proximal pharynx of the thumb, preventing healing of that ligament. That is the sternal lesion. That's the bad lesion. This is the one that you need to do surgery for to help healing and to prevent the chronic resistant instability, the swelling, the pain, and the chronic disability. Let's take another point, which is the oblique pulley of the thumb. So it seems like that a doctor policy's tendon may be inserted into the oblique pulley of the thumb or maybe close to it, somehow it's attached to it. I'm not sure what it, the connection is, but it is connected. This is the most important pulley in the thumb. It prevents both strength of the flexor pollicis longus tendon. As you know that the A1 pulley will cause the trigger thumb, and you got to release it sometimes when conservative treatment does not work. You got to know that the radial digital nerve is in the middle of your field and you will release only A1 poly. You do not release the oblique poly. So it is very good area in the anatomy to see all the field and what happened there and what is the important structures, as you can see from the picture in front of you. How about from and sign? It is a test for the under nerve motor weakness, you will do key pinch. 
when you place a piece of paper between the thumb and the index and ask the patient to hold that piece of paper, then the examiner will try to pull that piece of paper away. The patient will try to stabilize the piece of paper by flexing the IP joint to hold on the paper. So that occurs in cases of unknown air palsy due to weakness of the adductor muscle, which is unknown nerve supply. The IP flexion will occur by the flexor pollicis longus, which is a median nerve supply. So if you have that flexion at the IP joint of the thumb, they call it positive from and test. It is a compensatory maneuver. Look at this comparison. If you do flexion of the IP joint, that's bad for an unknown nerve diagnosis. That means the unknown nerve is injured or involved. But it is good if you examine for the anterior osseous nerve, which means you can do the OK sign, you can bend uh, the tip of the thumb and the index. And if you do that, that means the anterior osseous nerve is good. So if it is bad for the unknown nerve, it's good for the anterior osseous. If it is good for the anterior osseous, it's bad for the unknown nerve. It's not a perfect science, but my statement is probably very close to being accurate. The last one is Bennett fracture of the thumb, which is fracture of the base of the thumb. It usually have two parts, a small volar part of the metacarpal base which is attached to the volar oblique ligament, which hold this fragment in a position to the trabezium. And the second part is the first metacarpal shaft, which will show lateral displacement by the APL and by the adductor pollicis. So the shaft is pulled into adduction and metacarpal base is spinated. So your reduction maneuver will be extension, abduction, and pronation. This extension, abduction, and pronation is opposite the deformity of the shaft. I hope this review was helpful to you. If you like the video, please mark like. If you have any question, please let me know. Thank you. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.